So welcome everybody to this latest video on 162 Maths and in this video we'll be going over a quick topic test with a collection of some GCSE exam style questions on quadratic graphs at foundation level. Now a copy of the questions for you to have an attempt at before watching through this video is available for you to download by click on the link in the description which I strongly recommend you do to see how much understanding you have on this topic. Now before we get started it's worth mentioning that there is no indication about whether these questions are calculator or non-calculator as this topic can appear on both papers. So what we'll do is we'll just try and avoid using a calculator and obviously then if it's a calculator question then it will obviously be a bonus so that we can use our calculator. So let's get started on question one. So question one says complete this table of values for y equals x squared plus 3x minus 1. So what we need to do here is simply substitute the x values into the formula to work out our values. Now, if this was on a non-calculated paper, then all I need to do for when I'm using minus 2 is to actually just swap minus 2 in brackets because it's a negative number for where I see an x. So this is going to be minus 2 squared plus 3 times minus 2 minus 1. And if it was on a calculated paper, that's exactly what I would type in. So minus 2 squared is positive 4 because 2 times 2 is 4 and a minus multiplied by a minus gives me a negative, uh, a positive answer. And 3 times minus 2 is minus 6 and we've got minus 1. So it's 4 minus 6 is minus 2, minus 1 is minus 3. So moving on to our next one with 0. So this one should be relatively easy. So we're substituting, so it's going to be 0 squared plus 3 times 0 minus 1. 0 squared is 0, 3 times 0 is 0, so the only thing I've got is minus 1. And then finally, for the next one, we end up with 1 squared plus 3 times 1, take away 1, so that's 1 plus 3, take away 1, which gives me a final answer of 3. Now for the next question, it says on the grid, draw the graph of y equals x squared plus 3x minus 1 for the values of x from minus 2 to positive uh, to minus 4 to positive 2. Now with this graph it's always worth just making sure you're aware of what it looks like. Now that is going to produce a parabola but it's going to be a u shape because it's a positive x squared. So that's what my graph should look like. So all my coordinates should join up to make a nice smooth u shape. So let's go back to completing this and let me just zoom out so we can see the tape the table of values. And let me just zoom out a little bit more. And that should be enough, I think. And so let's have a look. So from minus four, we've got three. And so what you might want to do if you're not great at reading scales is just fill in the missing numbers. So you can see that it's going up in twos, but I can write down what these are. And there we go. And the X scale is already given in one, so that's going to be fine. Now with the markings, you don't want to go too crazy. You don't want to be marking it like that because obviously that's just going to be silly. So with this, we've got minus four, three, and then we've got minus three, minus one, which is here. Then minus uh, two at minus three. Then minus one, minus three. And at zero, it's minus one. At one, it's three. And at two, it's at nine which is all the way up here. And it's really important that you do go all the way through the scale because that's what it's asked for. So it's asked for minus four to two. Now the next thing comes the tricky part. Now, one thing I noticed with this is that there is no minimum point. So what I'm gonna have to do is just make sure that this is it's got a curved bottom rather than a flat one. And what I then wanna do is just carefully and with a nice, smooth continuous curve is joining those points up so it should look now where the two marks come from is it being correctly plotted according to your table of values and a nice smooth curve and also you might get a mark for not having a curved bottom not flat Moving on to our next question, it says use the graph to estimate the value of y when x equals minus a half. Now what you want to do here is you then want to draw the line of x equals minus 0.5. Now just double check it was minus 0.5, yes it was. So minus 0.5 is going to be here. So what I then want to do is to draw a straight line, preferably with a ruler, but I'm going to be doing this 
on the computer so it's going to be a little bit more stringent so that line there is x equals minus 0.5 and what i'm looking for is reading the x ordinates i'm reading what this value here is and that value there is a value that's going to be between i would say in terms of actually it's the y value i need to read so let me just get rid of that because I'm that wrong so it's actually this number i need to read and i would say that that number there and then looking at the mark scheme is any answer between minus 2.2 to minus 2.3 so any of those two would be within range the next one then says use the graph to estimate the solutions now for the solutions you're looking for the roots so you're trying to write down whatever these coordinates are now mine isn't great in terms of my diagram but yours should be a lot more accurately drawn in which your solutions well one of them should be between 0.3 and 0.6 and the other coordinate should be a number that's between minus 3.5 and minus 3.1 so any of those rate numbers within those ranges will be good enough to get you the two marks moving on to question two it says here is a graph so let me just zoom in so we've got a bit of a better view it says here is a graph of y equals x squared plus 2x minus 1 for the values of x from minus 3 to 2 and it says from the graph write down the coordinates of the following so here we want the y-intercept so we can see our y-intercept is here so that is going to give me a coordinate of 0 and it's going to be minus 1 and again you, what you might find more comfortable is to fill in the missing numbers if you're struggling to read the scale the next question then says the turning point well the turning point is this coordinate here that coordinate is minus 1 minus 2 next question then says the negative root of x squared plus 2x minus 1 which is here so again I want to give a number that is roughly anywhere between minus 2.5 and minus that's just a squiggly line minus 2.4 and that's going to be 0 and then for the positive root, well, that's going to be this number here in which they would accept any answer between 0 0.4 and 0 0.5. And it's going to be a zero there for the y ordinate. So moving on to question three, it says here is a sketch of y equals x minus one x plus four. And part three a says write down the coordinates of a. Now, if we look at the equation in its entirety, we can work out what the roots are because it has been factorized. So here the roots are going to be x equals one or x equals minus four. Now for it to be the coordinates of a, now a is basically the negative root. So that's going to be when x is minus 4 and y is obviously at 0. b is the positive root. So this here is the positive root. So that's going to be when x equals 1. And let me just scroll down. And 0. Now for c, this is the y-intercept. Now to find the y-intercept, when we've got a factorized equation, all we need to do is just expand the bracket. So I've got y equals x squared plus 4x minus 1x minus 4 so that gives me y equals x squared plus 3x minus 4 now the y-intercept is going to be the constant at the end or when x equals 0 in which it's going to be minus 4 so here that's going to be at minus 4 so the coordinate of that for c is going to be 0 minus 4 next question then says write down the equation of the line of symmetry from the graph now from this I know that this point here at a is at minus 4 I know that b is at 1 and so the line of symmetry is going to be the midpoint between those two values now to find the midpoint all we've got to do is just add the two x ordinates together and divide by 2 so minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3 so it's going to be minus 3 over 2 which is minus 1.5 so because this is a vertical line it's going to be it goes through the x-axis so it's going to be x equals minus 1.5 so x equals minus 1.5 so the next question then says write down the coordinates of d so for this what i need to do is basically substitute the value the coordinate of d the x ordinate which is minus 1.5 into this equation so here I've got y equals, let me just write this down. So x uh, plus minus 1, x plus 4. 
So then if I then substitute x equals minus 1.5 into this equation, I get y equals, and the first bracket is going to be minus 1.5 minus 1, and then it's going to be minus 1.5 plus 4. So then that's going to be minus 2.5 multiplied by uh, 5. Well, no, it's not. It's going to be 2.5 uh, minus 2.5 multiplied and if I add those two things together I'm going to get uh, 2.5 and so I've got 2.5 times 2.5 which is going to give me minus 6.25 so the coordinates then are going to be minus 1.5 and minus 6.25 alternately if you've ever done anything relating to completing a square I could use completing a square to work that out uh, or I could use my calculator to work it out. It's entirely up to you which method you'd go for, but with it being on the foundation syllabus, it's unlikely you would have covered completing the square. So I would say this is probably the most efficient way of doing it. Now, because we're dealing with negatives and decimal numbers, it's more likely that this question would be a calculator question. Moving on to question four, it says solve the quadratic equation. So let's just do that by factorizing. So we want to factorize this. So we want to find two numbers that multiply together to give me 9, add it together to give me 6, and our two numbers are going to be 3 and 3. Now because our we've got a plus there, it means a bigger number is going to be 3, so that's going to be that, and it doesn't matter which 3 you go for, and because this is a plus means that both signs are going to be the same, so we've got plus x plus 3, x plus 3. So solving this, the only possible solution we can have is x equals minus 3, so the answer there is minus 3. So the next question then says, or the last question says, to sketch this graph, well we know that it's only got one root, so we know from this it's going to be a U shape. We know that it's got, uh, it's only got one root, which is at minus 3. And we know that it, the Y intercept equals 9. So if I mark those wherever I think it is going to be, so if I just draw a U shape, that touches the x-axis of 1, so this point here is at minus 3, and this point here is going to be at 9. And that should be good enough to get the 3 marks, so you'd get 1 mark for the u-shape, 1 mark for your u-shape to touch the x-axis at 1 point only, and it's on the left-hand side and marked as minus 3, and the y-intercept is on the positive spectrum of the y-axis and is marked with a number 9. 